Hi all, in this session we are going to talk about apply family in R programming. So using this apply family functions, you can apply a particular function on different R objects. These R objects can be anything like a data frame, a matrix, a list. Let's start with it. So first of all, you can see that I have defined two functions. One is print odd even and another one is return odd even. Over here, the only difference between these two functions is in one function, we are printing the statement and in another function, we are returning something. So always remember that in any function or any loop, if you are going to use this return statement, in that case, as soon as return statement has been executed, the particular loop, the particular function will be exited and it won't go ahead. In this output over here, you can see that in the function called print odd even over here, we are able to get the print statement of numbers 1 to 5 that 1 is odd number, 2 is even number and likewise. Whereas in the another function that is written odd and even, in this particular function, we are just able to return only one statement that is 1 is odd number. The reason being, we have used return statement. First, we will talk about l apply. So this is the first function of apply family that is l apply. So in l apply, you need to provide two parameters. One is x. So x stands for least or any iterables and the function that you want to apply on this particular list. So over here, we have used l apply. Then this is the list. This is the iterable on which we want to apply the function called print odd even. So over here, you can see that we have got the output that one is odd number, two is even number and likewise. Apart from this, do not worry about these null values because whenever we are going to print something, by default, it will return null. So over here, that is the reason that when we are applying the function on the list, by default, it is returning null as well. Next, we are going to apply return odd even function on the list of 1 to 5 numbers. Over here, just remember that in the print function, we were printing the statement, whereas in the return statement, we were returning the statement. So over here, as we have applied this l apply uh, function on this uh, range of 1 to 5, uh, we have got the answer that um, 1 is odd number and likewise. So over here, you can see the difference that in the print statement, we were getting this null printed. Whereas in this return statement, we are not getting this null statements. When you are going to use this l apply function from the apply family, it's class its data type will be list okay so it will return the list data type its output will be the list next let's talk about s apply so s apply is the same as l apply there is no difference in it the only difference is in the output so whenever you are going to use this s apply function the output will be always in the character format next let's talk about apply function. So over here apply function is a bit different from l apply and s apply. So in apply function you need to provide x. So x can be a data frame or a matrix or an array. Then margin. So margin stands for on which part of the data frame or a matrix or an array you want to apply the function. So rather you want to apply the function on rows or you want to apply the function on column. So valid values are 1 and 2. So 1 stands for rows and 2 stands for column. And finally, the function that you want to apply. So over here, you can see that we have created a matrix having 3 rows and 10 columns and it will be having values from 1 to 10. So this is the output of this particular comma. Now, using apply function, we have applied some function on the rows of this matrix. So sum of all the three rows is 55. Same way using apply, we have applied some function on all the columns of the matrix and you can get the sum of all the columns as shown on the screen. 
last one is the t apply so this is the last function of apply family over here the functionality is you need to provide x which will be a vector then the index like it's it can be a grouping factor or list of factors that you can provide but it is kind of a group by functionality okay so it is a group by functionality then the function that you want to apply on that particular vector and then simplify so uh, it's just that boolean like should the result uh, simplified or not so let's see it in the action so over here we have created a data frame the output of this emp underscore data data frame is as shown on the screen like this is what the data frame will look alike now using this t apply first we need to provide the x that is the vector so over here we are providing this salary column as a vector then i have told that index will be a group by functionality so over here we are saying that group by employee name and then provide the summation of salary so over here you can see the output that salary of employee a so its sum is 3.06 and likewise same way over here uh, we are using again the t apply function again we are using the salary column and over here again we are using the employee name but this time we wanted to know the minimum salary of each employee okay so uh, you can see the output over here that minimum salary of an individual employee is as shown on the screen that's it for the day thank you everyone for watching this video